Chris Reed knife. And here it is. Magna Cut L31. The Lars Avenger 31. Plain Jane. CPM Magna Cut. What it will turn out to be. Magna Cut birth card. There it is. Take down anatomy. August 4, 2023. Just a month old. Double lug. So far, good news. Take down lover. Chris Reeves uh, Loctite and foreign increase. And here, at the moment, I have been anxiously waiting. Did I get a deal? Blade is perfectly centered. No damage. The chamfering around the titanium is hard to reproduce. But truly, this. Yeah, that sound is unmistakable. Middle lock up. Got that magna cut look to the steel glazing. Double lugs, meaning open left handed. Like that. I can open right handed, like that. Not too bad. Washes up the edge quite a bit. Let us see what it looks like now.
do some stropping. this edge looked at now. Looks pretty sharp as hell, doesn't it? There's the scratch pattern on the Magna Cut. So 100% of the apex edging on that section right there. It could hang up a little bit. That section. Yeah, it's an absolute laser actually. amount of force going through is like one newton. It's like basically a laser. So this Sabenza large 31 Magna Cut made a month ago is an absolute laser. So the folks, the technicians at Chris Reeve don't know how to sharpen, but I do, so I don't need I don't need their sharpening expertise so much. But this knife will be my magna cut carry for the duration now. Not for my latest Sabenza Magna Cut 31 large. So things minor modifications I made besides this is I backed off the screws a little bit. It was so tight that I could, it was a pain to order to open it. Now, I, they were all Loctited. When I backed it off, I pulled the screws one, two, three out completely, re tightened it to the tension I wanted so that I can flick. And one of the things that Chris Reeve uh, knives discourages is flicking the knife, but flicking it is fine. In the short life that I'll live, I don't care if the bearings are worn just a little bit from flicking. I mean, I'm not going to flick it too often anyway. Just when I use it, I don't like to have to struggle with it being able to flick, especially, which is why I got the double lug uh, Sabenza. This is a titanium bead, and this is a, I don't know, 
a fairly tight, I think half width dense paracord that I got at one of those um, paracord stores. It's a, it's a specialty item that you have to look for. But I thought it matched the overall look of the Sabenza without appearing too decadent. When, you're, when it's in the pocket, having that little um, extra pull cord comes in quite handy. So this now sharpened to an absolute, absolute laser edge on my Tormek makes this uh, an absolute unzipper of paper. So this Sabenza Magna Cut, my latest this um, small Sabenza, so this one is tight as you can see, small Sabenza in Singo with uh, Macassar Ebony wood inlay. And I took the lanyard off of this one. The, these small ones especially need a lanyard, but I liked it kind of very compact. See, this is just a single lug. And after a while, it gets kind of um, a chore. In addition, I really messed it up on the Tormek. It's one of the dangers of a Tormek is that, as you can see, I wore the some of that thumb stub, uh, thumb stud tipping off. I accidentally touched it on the grinder on the ZBN wheel. So you have to be careful when, if we're going to use a Tormek. Now this is the Sabenza Insingo double lug. Copper beading, similar uh, lanyard, quite useful with this because uh, minuscule, as you can see. I need I need that to grip with. This is SVN 35N, much easier to sharpen than the um, Magna Cut. Holds an edge is nice and tough. Holds a working edge for for a long time. Now this one also large 31 in natural micarta and this is also S35VN very easy to sharpen and yet still unzips like a razor as you can see so this one there's plenty to hold on to and so and oh yeah this one has a non-factory double thumb studs Cap City Creation studs so I didn't like these as much from the left side, I can undo it fairly easily. From the right side, you basically have to use, use the thumb like that. I mean, they are nice thumb studs. Better looking than the factory ones, actually. More meaty. Put a little, little bit more weight on it. And some people might like that. I don't know, I just wanted to try that. It's a, it's a Cap City creation. Thumb studs. I don't know if they still are around. The natural micarta in this kind of new sweep. So this large Sabenza 31 and S35VN. So these are the two S35VN knives. I gave away my oldest Sabenzas, but I still have this single stud in Singo, my first in Singo. This is a blue titanium bead and a gripper on it. So this is from 2011 and this is S35VN also. I think this was the early S35VN. I don't think I sharpened this in a long time but it's just sharp after significant use as that's the value of a S35VN. Now this one I can flick left-handed like that. This one is a bit loosened up. That's the beautiful look of the titanium once it's kind of worn in for 12 years. This thing in Singo, so this is 20, approximately 2011 in Singo S35VN. This one is 2015 in Kosi S35VN. This one 2020 so Ben is a 31 natural micarta in large. This one, 2022, so Ben's a 31 small in Macassar Ebony Magna Cut. Very soon after they began offering Magna Cuts, this one. Now this, a year later, 
a month old. Magna cut. So that's my that's the extent of the sabenzas I uh, I have now. Non sabenza knives. The I got rid of my uh, tie lock and my umnum zan. The umnum zan was just a little bit too beefy, and the knife shape I didn't favor it as much as this one. The impinda I don't like the shape of it. I would prefer the small and single the best. I'll have to consider trying the large and single. The single shape is the most useful and easiest to sharpen, even though not quite as uh, useful in its full breadth as the um, drop point with, with a huge belly. The, the Inkosi, I'll keep this one, but uh, I don't like I don't like the shape of it. That's just the Sabenzas. So I th that's why I got this one mainly for carry. And for heavy use, I anticipate using this one and carrying this one regularly. The smaller subenzas are a bit limiting. I kind of like having the larger blade for its, uh, its um, greater utility.